Hello fellow YouTubers and welcome to the Weekly News in VR. Today we'll be talking Star Wars Squadrons released to a very enthusiastic reception. Nominees for the 2020 Golden Joystick Awards are announced. The Walking Dead Saints and Sinners is a whopping install on Oculus Quest. Your gender may dictate if you suffer from motion sickness in VR. And finally, RHTC prepping a rival to the Oculus Quest 2. So let's get straight into the action then. And remember, we are born to respawn. Before we jump into the news, the channel is growing rapidly and I have tons of content in the pipeline for you. So if you enjoy the madness that is Mac in VR, please subscribe and perhaps drop a like on this video. It will be much appreciated. Star Wars Squadrons released on the 2nd October and has been greeted with elation by fans of the series and high praise from a number of big game reviewers including IGN, Upload VR, plus dedicated VR YouTube channel Virtual Reality Oasis, Ben Plays VR and even perennial Call of Duty Warzone player Jack Frags. You can check out my single player review here and my multiplayer review will be following once I've put some decent time into the game and unlock some goodies. I've had a great time reliving my childhood where I dreamed of piloting an X-Wing or TIE Fighter, engaging in dogfights over and under immense Star Destroyers to a background of laser fire and an amazing, stirring soundtrack. I think this is probably the best game released since Half-Life Alex, and I've been fully sucked into the story and characters. Something no one else seems to be mentioning, however, is it's bloody hard, even on the easiest settings, so expect to die. A lot. Until you get the hang of flying your spaceship. And welcome to the 37th annual Golden Joystick Awards live from the Bloomsbury Big Top here in London. Voting has opened for the 2020 Golden Joysticks, but unlike 2019, there is no best VR AR category. Which does seem odd to me as VR gaming has a far larger audience in 2020 due to the success of the Index, Rift S and Quest. Well, what do I know? There are VR titles in nearly all 18 categories. How brilliant is that? It's great for exposing our wonderful little VR world to a larger audience who maybe haven't thought about VR or maybe dif dismissed it as a fad. Half-Life Alex has fared particularly well with three nominations along with No Man's Sky, The Walking Dead Saints and Sinners, Marvel's Iron Man and Microsoft Flight Simulator which doesn't support VR yet but it's on the way so I've included it. Okay? Also, Oculus Quest 2 has been nominated in the Best Gaming Hardware section which it has to win, right? I mean, NVIDIA totally screwed up the launch of their new RTX 30 series GPUs and Oculus put a Snapdragon XR2 into the Quest 2 for f***'s sake. I put a link down in the description, so go and vote for your VR heroes and maybe make a bit of history. Oh, shit. Skydance Interactive have revealed the size of the download for the upcoming port of the excellent Walking Dead Saints and Sinners to Oculus Quest and Quest 2. With the inclusion of the Meat Grinder update, it will weigh in at a portly 12 gigabytes, which makes me think that my pre-order of the 64 gigabyte version of Quest 2 might be a bit short-sighted. With many developers working on graphical updates to enhance their games on Quest 2, this sort of size may become the norm in future titles, which means your Quest 2 may fill up quicker than you think. The one caveat is that Saints and Sinners is quite an in-depth game with a lengthy single-player campaign. Beautiful cel-shaded graphics plus the horde mode maps tagged on, so it may be a one-off. The game will release on the 13th of October to coincide with the Oculus Quest 2 launch. What do you think about the 12 gig install? Get involved and comment down below. And now it's time for... Noob of the Week! Well, it's me again. This is my genuine reaction to the prelude section of Star Wars Squadrons. Oh my god, I'm inside a TIE Fighter. I f had a TIE Fighter! <laughs> oh my god. Oh. oh, I'm so excited. Women are three times more likely to suffer motion sickness in VR, according to a recent report by VR Heaven.
The report, which polled 300 responders, so not a major study due to low numbers, but it showed that nearly 58% of women experienced motion sickness at some time while in VR. It doesn't mention what they were doing in VR, however, whether they were playing a game or viewing an experience, but to be honest, I've been playing VR for over four years now, and the only time I've ever felt nausea was after forking out £20 for the frankly embarrassing Walking Dead onslaught. Don't buy it. It's sh**. It's time for Anorak Corner, featuring Malcolm. Did you know that according to a recent report in the hallowed tome, The New Scientist, women are three times more likely to suffer motion sickness when in VR, and it could be down to the size of their feet. I've never touched a real woman, apart from my mother, but that doesn't count. The VR headset manufacturer HTC may be about to throw their hat in the ring with a consumer-focused standalone HMD, which will also rock the next-gen Snapdragon XR2 chipset, according to the popular website Road to VR. Their strategy is unclear at the moment, but my guess will be to make a premium standalone headset that fully utilizes the power of the XR2 chipset instead of trying to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Quest 2 and Facebook's billions. I mean, come on, Facebook must be selling that headset at a loss. There must be. Anyway, a 90 hertz refresh rate, 3K resolution per eye, up to seven tracking cameras, integrated 5G plus Wi-Fi 6 support, and obviously 6 DOF. Bring the price in at $499 and you've basically got a standalone headset more powerful than a Valve Index at half the price. This could be a smart move with a lot of consumers boycotting the Oculus Quest 2 due to the compulsory Facebook account debacle. What do you think? Get involved and comment down below. Well, that's the final story for today. Feel free to share this content. Please like and subscribe to support the channel. And don't forget to hit that bell icon to be notified whenever I upload any new content. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the other side.